Hey guys, Brian with ITS today. I'm here with Jeff Gonzalez from Trident Concepts, and we are talking about the Tacos training card program that Jeff has developed. Um, and I want to take this opportunity to just kind of let him tell you a little bit about the program and, and how it came to be. Sure. So Jeff, if you can. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, this program actually goes back several years to an earlier program that we call the uh, Marksmanship Training Program. And it was a solution for students coming through to have some way of maintaining their skill sets. Um, we kind of mothballed it because it became really complicated. It was a very kind of controlled environment where students were sending us scores and we were validating them, making sure everything was progressing. But it got a little intensive, so we kind of mothballed it and continued to get people asking me, how can, how can I continue to train, maintain my skills after a class? So uh, we created a program, but then the next thing we had to do was figure out a format or a platform to deliver it, and that's where we came up with uh, putting it on a deck of cards. I broke it into four different disciplines, and uh, you know, so far, you know, it's been great. I'm, I really, I enjoy actually doing it because I don't have to think anymore. I just yeah. pull a card out and go to town. Well, it's definitely cool to use, man. I've been digging it for the last couple of weeks. You sent me a deck over to check out, and I've really enjoyed working with it. Right on. Um, I love the fact that it's really portable. You yes, know, it's, it's you know taking a training program with you wherever you go. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So you talked about the four different disciplines. Right. So what are those? We have um, <clears throat> we have speed, marksmanship, uh, dry fire, and then what we call baselines. So speed, pretty obvious, you know, trying to increase your speed. Uh, marksmanship is, is about honing in that marksmanship skills on demand. Dry fire, we mix a little bit of live fire in with some of the dry fire drills, which is nice, so you can do some dry fire where you're at the range, or if you don't have access to a range, strictly dry fire at the house or home. And baselines are kind of like our, our little secret, if you will, because what baselines are is it's basically developing your skill set for a particular course of fire. So a one round drill at the seven yard line, we'll shoot that baseline so that we can figure out what that is and then we use that baseline to help either uh, challenge, you know, like we'll decrease the time or we'll increase the distance or we'll decrease the target size, but we'll try to use the same baseline. So it really is a, it's a great way of keeping people honest. Cool. Yeah. Well, what I want to do is just, um, what we'll do now, I guess, is take the deck and yeah, absolutely. do a little bit of work on that. I mean, you mentioned uh, the different disciplines, so do you recommend actually taking a specific discipline and breaking the cards down like that? or? I think, you know, it, the beautiful thing about this is it's scaled and it's modular to the point where, you know, the shooter can pretty much do whatever, whatever he wants. If a shooter is, like, struggling with marksmanship, then it's not, it's a no-brainer. Pull out the marksmanship uh, cards, shuffle them up, pick one, and go to town. Uh, if it's speed that the shooter's trying to improve upon, then you go that direction, you know. Or if you're just kind of bored and you just want to change up, add a little spice, shuffle the entire deck, pull the cards out and see what you get. Cool. Yeah, those are that's the fun ones cuz you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. And you know, it's it, you always got to try tra you know, try to stay true to whatever cards you pull. And that's the beautiful thing is that a lot of guys will practice what they're good at. Yeah. And this forces you to practice maybe what you're not good at <laughs> and keeping you Absolutely. honest in that sense. That's what I love about it. Cool. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at some. So we've got the uh, the four different disciplines laid out here and you know, start with start with a speed. Uh, you know, these there's so many different drills that we have in here. Uh, you know, I think the ones that I kind of gravitate towards are the ones that are more challenging and complex. Uh, this one right here, the strong to weak side, is one that, you know, got, a lot of guys don't work on. You know, they don't work their strong, uh, I'm sorry, they don't work their weak side quite as much. Mm -hmm. So here's one that you actually have to work your weak side. So that's one of my favorite ones from, from that one. Um, you know, this next one right here is is, you know, this is where we do all of our baselines. And so each one of these is a different baseline drill. And you know, sometimes the um, the ones that I kind of favor are the ones that are a little bit more challenging. Like this one right here is a one done from the 25 yard line. So you really, to develop your baselines out there, you, you, your marksmanship skills really have to be dialed in. Yeah. So the dry fire ones, you know, I, again, I mentioned how we have a few that are kind of, um, there's some with live fire integrated into them, and then there's just straight up dry fire. But, you know, there's a lot of other ones that guys don't see a lot. One of my favorite ones is this drill called follow through where you have to maintain tension after the, the actual course of fire, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. That's a lot harder than it looks. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a fun one for sure. But then there's the marksmanship ones, the ones that we picked here. Um, and you know, all these marksmanship drills, you know, there are some that are very challenging. And that's the thing. Some guys get a little upset because some of these standards are going to be outside of their skill level, and that's kind of the point. You know, not everything mm -hmm. is achievable right out of the box. Right. So when you're doing, you know, some of the drills from the 50 or maybe even the 100 yard line, mm, may not get it on the first try. Yeah. Might have to work on that one. Yeah, so uh, I'll let you go ahead and 
Pick one that you might want. All right, I'll take this one here. Oh, right on. So we got, so that's one, one round mm -hmm. step back, right? Yes. So the way that we work these is that the top of the card has got the actual course of fire. So here, fire one round at the five yard line. Then you step back to the seven, do the same drill. Step back to the 10, do the same drill. Step back to the 15, 25, et cetera. Then it gives you the actual target zone that you're shooting at. Here, we're starting off on a two inch dot. All right, so the five and the seven yard line, probably doable. 10 and the 15, it's getting a lot <laughs> more challenging, right? The 25 yeah. yard line, some guys can do it, some guys can't. So that's, that's the progression. Then we'll do, we'll repeat the drill again using a four inch dot, and then we'll do it at an eight inch dot. So, you know, you'll see, okay, yeah, my two inch got a lot of work there. Yeah. You know, but as you start to see the target zones open up a little bit easier, then down at the bottom, it gives you a little bit more information here. So the ranges, obviously we've already indicated, you got various ranges, five, seven, 10, 15, 25. Total rounds fired is 15 for one run. Okay. And then the point penalty is seven per miss. <laughs> so, you know, we will grade is it at the end. Is that push-ups or? <laughs> yeah, we can, well, we can, we'll change things up. We're out here in God's country. We'll figure out something else to do. <laughs> so that's the, uh, that's the whole breakdown of just one of the cards, so. Okay. Well, cool, man. Well, yeah. Let's do it. Right on. All right, so here's what we'll do. I love the step back drill. It's a pretty simple drill. We're going to start here at the five yard line. We're going to fire one round, the two inch dot. We're going to move to the seven, do the same thing. 10, do the same thing. 15, do the same thing. 25, and do the same thing. Cool. Then we'll come back and we'll do it versus the four inch dot. Same yard line, same drill. Then we'll come back and we'll do it versus the eight inch dot. And then we'll go down and score. Cool. So good. when we get back to 25 though, especially on the two inch dot, you're going to want to probably, there is just ever so slight of a little mechanical offset on your sights. So you're going to want to probably favor a little bit higher than you would at the, uh, at the other ranges, just to try to have the best chance of getting it inside that black okay. dot. Just a wee bit. All right, let's gotcha. do this. Let's do it. So on your own pace. One round, two inch dot. That's it. <sighs> All right, let's step back to the seven. Okay, so what'd you think? It was cool. Yeah, I liked it. It's you an know, interesting drill. it is a fun drill. It's a challenging drill. You know, again, those the the progressions from the small two inch to the four inch mm -hmm. to the eight inch. Is, is certainly a challenge. So the way we score it, I'll start with mine. So my left dot I was using to shoot my two inch. So I've got one, two, three, four misses. Not good. Then over to the four inch, I got one miss. And then to the eight inch, I got zero misses. So that's a total of five. Seven times five is 35. So my final score would be ooh, 65 on that one. Mm -hmm. Certainly needs some work. Well, Definitely don't, on don't the grab mine, you don't have to do that. <laughs> okay. No, go ahead. But, but well, uh, real quick, you know, yeah. what I realized as I go through this for my own professional development is looking at the two inch. So I look at my five and I look at my four. Okay, good. You know, but I look at the two, certainly need work on my two. Well, you know, what was it? Was it uh, my point of aim? Was it uh, whatever cold bore shot? You know, cause just one thing I do like about the cards is I like to pick one that I use for my cold bore shot. You sure. know, how can I, how do I work? So what I could use this particular drill for is an assessment. I can say after I'm done, all right, I really need work on my two inch you know, marksmanship capabilities. What, you know, because two inches is basically I'm trying to shoot somebody's eye out, you right. know, like a hostage taker. I've got a small window to shoot. I've got to nail that shot. So it's a good example of two inch. I realize, ooh, poor performance there. So maybe I, rather than go into any of the other cards in the deck, I just kind of take a step back and I maybe work the five, the seven, and the 10, but totally dedicated to that two inch. So you can kind of use those cards as an assessment as to how you go with the rest of your training uh, yeah, session. I like that. Yeah. All right, so which one did you shoot the two inch on? This two guy? inch was this one. All right, so yep. you got five there, then you got four there, and then you got one, two, three, two there, so five, four, so 11. 11 times five is 55, so your score would be 45 there. Okay. So room for improvement. Yep. And that's what I love about it. You know, you come back a week, a month, a year from now, shoot the same drill, compare it to the score, see if you made progress. And you said, uh, you want to talk about kind of the development of some other 
lines that you're going to kind of do yes. along with the, the card deck? Absolutely. So, you know, we've got the pistol version and we got the rifle coming out here really soon. But the one that I'm really excited about is what we call the PRT, which is physical readiness. And that is going to combine the pistol rifle program with physical demands. So some, some training modifiers, and we're breaking those four disciplines down into uh, body weight, uh, running, marching, kettlebell, uh, odd objects, and then barbells. So, you know, you'll have a particular exercise that you have to do, get your heart rate up, cardiovascular system taxed, muscular fatigue, yeah. and then you've got to perform. I like that. Kind of the same standards that you have here. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be a lot of fun. Very cool. Yeah. Now, you mentioned uh, targets, too. Do you want to talk about those? Absolutely. Or, yeah. yeah, you could you could use our traditional uh, TCTs, which are great because they have the two, the four, and the eight. But we just came out with a brand new target dedicated to the TACOS program, which is going to have six eight-inch dots that are going to be uh, subtended at six, four, and two. And then they'll have also two four-inch dots that are subtended at two and one inch. So you can literally take that one training target and you can spend your entire training session on one target. Yeah, that's you know? cool. Yeah, it's really nice. You just go to a new dot, start start wailing on it. Yeah, I'm awesome. excited about that one. So, do you want to tell everyone how they can pick up their own yes. deck here? There are, uh, you can go straight to our website, tridentconcepts.com. You can see there uh, on the main page, you'll find the uh, Takos training page. Uh, that's one way you can get it. It's available through a lot of different companies. Bravo companies carrying them. Uh, let's see. Oh, who else is carrying them? There's a um, GT distributors here in Texas is carrying them. Um, there's a lot of other companies that actually are stocking them. I just can't keep them. Like I'm drawing a total blank on who else is in there, but you know, there's almost a dozen different companies throughout the country that are carrying them. So cool. if, there, if, you, if you can't get them through our website, you can definitely get them through some of the industry guys that are out there carrying that stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I would like to quickly thank Bill over here at uh, Farm Strength Fort Worth for letting us use the facility for this. And uh, thank you, Jeff. My pleasure, Brian. Appreciate your time, brother. Always a fun time. Always a fun time. All right. Thanks, guys. And we walk out of scene. White shadow. <laughs> <laughs>